my dearest Maryam Rajavi, and all distinguished guests and participants. I'm honored to be here, and I'm pleased to be present and speaking before you all in this international celebration of women around the world. My name is Wahide Koram Rudi. I am here on behalf of NEDA Association from Ottawa, Canada. It's, a lot has been said about misogynist Mullah's regime and operation of women in Iran, and I have no intention to reiterate or repeat them. Instead, I want to deal with a question that is always with me as an Iranian woman. What is the solution to put an end to this situation? Beside my many personal and daily life and problems that I face, I have to reply to my own conscience. What can I do and what should I do to help overcome plot of Iranian women? I have thought a lot about this. I have researched and studied. I have come with the only answer, and that is change in the policy toward Iran is a necessity and a regime change in Iran is a must. The, ex <laughs> the experience of past three decades illustrates that there is no other way. I have not reached this conclusion only through reading and studying. I have come up with it through practice, experience, and action. Therefore, I strongly believe that the equality and uh, the equality movement and the struggle for women's rights will only succeed if it is coupled with larger movement and a struggle for the freedom and democracy. This is true, not only for Iran, but for all, all other countries around the world. When the two movements are tied then women can extract their real potentials and capabilities. This has been the valuable experience of the Iranian women who are also involved in the struggle for freedom and democracy in their own country. Today, it is a great pleasure for us all that the woman, Ms. Maryam Rajavi, is leading our resistance movement. I have been involved in political activities in, in relation with Iranian resistance for the past three decades. I have gone through many ups and downs through this process and gained a lot of experience. Therefore, I can tell you with great certainty that women of Iran, Iranian resistance, embody the courage and the strength for all women across the world. They say, mitavon va boyad which means one can and one must. They have made women's dreams for changing the old discriminatory world come true. Now, if you look at the Iranian regime reaction to the PMI achievements in the field of equality for men and women, you will find nothing but the misogynist hatred and sense of revenge simply because, contrary to the views of the Mullahs, Women of resistant movement have proved their ability to be qualified in leading such a strong opposition movement. The regime is spitting out various hateful lies and accusations against the women of Iranian resistance every day and night in the hysterical manner, and one can only relate this reaction to the fact that these women have proved the mullahs to be damn wrong. The Mullahs utterly fail to comprehend and respect very basic human rights and democratic principle, never mind about comprehending more complex issues like how these women, who in the views of Mullahs are nothing, have been able to take the leading position in this movement with such a strong strength and dignity. They have genuinely been able to advance the work in every field to gain many valuable achievements. 
The mullahs are completely unable to understand how these women have managed to take Camp Ashraf and its residents through challenges over the last 10 years and have risen to become a shining model, model of perseverance, steadfastness, and opposition against dictators of our time. They cannot understand how these women have been able to resolve many complexities in the field of political, international relations, and gaining an extensive worldwide capability and uh, credibility for the movement. They are unable to understand how these women have been able to safeguard the in independence of this movement while supplying its financial needs with such amazing persistence and poise, as well as astonishing, ruthless hard work. 18 years ago, at a large gathering at London Earth Court, named Women, Voice of Oppress, Mariam Rajavi addressed the misogynist mullahs by saying, you will receive the final blow from where you do not take into your calculation at all. Today, ladies and gentlemen, that has become clearer than ever before. I'd like to take this time, therefore I'd like to take this time and opportunity to relay my extreme gratitude and appreciation to all the leading women of the Iranian resistance, whether those who were savagely killed in cold blood in Camp Ashraf by the, sorry, by the assistance of Maliki, whether they were those six women who have taken as a hostage, I'm sorry, by Maliki's henchmen, or those who are conducting very critical responsibilities on this very day in order to bring about a regime change in Iran. Thank you very much.